you guys welcome back to another video i am doing a shorty set today you guys i have never done a shorty set on my channel or on myself so let's hop into it Alright y'all, so y'all remember these nails. They are going bye-bye. Say bye to those nails. They were fun. They were cute, but I'm tired of them. <laughs> um, one of the charms did fall off on my thumb. Um, it got snagged on something when I was doing clothes. I guess it got snagged on the clothes, but there was like a sharp piece on the on the gem and it just kept getting snagged on different stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me different um clothing that i had and so yeah it ended up falling off which i was sad about but i was like oh well it was almost been a month already that i had them on so i didn't really care too much but um they lasted pretty good i used the uh, mccart rhinestone glue for my gems and they held up well as you can see this one right here was not coming off like i mean at all did not budge it was so hard to get this one off i tried everything y'all so then i just ended up going back and doing this and it ended up like shooting off across the room and it popped off <laughs> Right here, you guys, we had the worst mistake ever, 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 ever. Like, it was, it was traumatic. No. Y'all, I cut my finger so bad. Like, it literally went right into my finger. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, thank God this was all me and not somebody else. So now I know that I will never, ever, ever do that on somebody else. Thank God. Like, this is why you practice on yourself, people. Like, when you're doing new things, you practice on yourself first to make sure that everything goes smoothly because you don't want to mess stuff up like that on somebody else. Like, better yourself than a client. But yeah, I've actually never had to take off big stones like this or stones at all, really, um, that wouldn't just like come off by themselves. But since they were so detailed, I had to do this and remove them like this. So lesson learned. But moving right along. <laughs> After this, I am going to put get my 501 bit. And these are I call them um dust protectors and i don't know what the exact word is for them but i call them dust protectors and soon i will be having these up on my website i will have a website um up for you all no later than the end of march hopefully well not hopefully i will like for sure i will have a website up for y'all no later than the end of march and everything um that i love things that i love and things that i can find for you all that you um can't necessarily get from other places i will be selling that on my website for you all and um yeah so right now i'm just using the 501 bit and i am just filing it down as much as i can i just showed y'all like how thin i get it to the point where i can like just flip flick a chip of a piece of the nail off um and this is obviously ema not mma do not use mma it will not look like this you guys it will be like slimy and gooey and this is how it's supposed to look when you do a soak off <laughs>
did about three or four soaks and scrapes. Um, so right now I'm going ahead and I'm taking my champagne toast from Bath and Body Works. I like their candles more so than their lotions and um and their uh sprays i don't i'm not really i really actually don't like any of their sprays but their candles i love and especially when i'm doing nails and also um some of their lotion champagne toast is my favorite one though but anyway i just went ahead and lotion on my hands because they were looking a little crusty and i did not want y'all to see me out here like that so we had to get that covered and now i am j just taking my 240 sandy man and i am going ahead and um this time i actually clean my cuticles just with the sanding band just because it was all myself what i usually do is i usually use a cuticle bit and um i usually use i don't know what it's called but it's this narrow one i didn't show it in here but i do have it in my other videos that i always use when i'm doing my hands um but i use about three different things on my um, nails when i am prepping and it usually takes me like forever this was way quicker so i might start doing this but i did find um towards the end of me prepping that i still need to clean up a little bit more so uh i don't know how i feel about people just using the sanding band to get their cuticles and whatnot but i don't know i guess we'll see in a month or so if my nails lift from um me not getting near the cuticle as good but that's usually uh, why people use so many different tools when doing their prep because they do not want any of the cuticle or any of the skin um, to interfere with the adhesion so you don't want any lifting and that's usually where your lifting come from is the cuticle area but anyway I just went ahead and I prepped my nails and I usually don't show this part but I just decided to throw that in here this time because I usually don't show it um some of my nails were a little damaged um underneath and that's just because I kept knocking those fingers on stuff like I'm just I, th I used to think that I wasn't rough with nails but I am like I'm really rough with nails now that I think about it and I just do a lot throughout the day like I do so much and um i do so little but so much like i don't work anymore but i feel like i work more than when i was at my job like i don't know y'all it just don't make sense to me but anyway we were going ahead and we were using dynamic um nail supply primer and dehydrator and i have not um used this before this is my first time i bought this a while ago and i will link the video to um i'll link all the videos to dynamic just because or at least some of them because i don't really remember which one i got this in i think this one was from my second to last dynamic um nail supply haul that i did but i do have three on my channel so definitely go check those out because as y'all know dynamic nail supply is my favorite acrylic right now right now because you know in the near future you never know something else might pop up and i might like that next but right now that is my favorite uh acrylic powder so if you are a beginner i highly highly suggest it we are using milky white by not polish this is a staple for them um everybody gets this color this color i think they have what is it nude panther is that not polish or is that kiara sky i think nude panther and there's one other one that like everybody gets from not polish but milky white is definitely a not polished staple so if you are looking for a milky white go ahead and cop that i really like it but i also like um just making milky whites and the only the way you can make a milky white yourself is just get any white acrylic that you like and add clear to it you guys that's it that's all milky white is so if you don't want to spend any coins that is a way to do it and i actually had a milky white made um for myself like i made one for myself way back when i first started way back <laughs> like four or five months ago when i started doing nails but um and i actually like that more than the than not polished milky white but uh i use it all i only made a little bit and i used it all so yeah that was the end of that and i just use this for right now i really don't do any milky white nails though so I really don't have any need to be making any especially when i have one right here but anyway we're going ahead and we are laying this acrylic now i should have gave y'all a disclaimer in the beginning of this video but i'm gonna do it now disclaimer 
I did not know what the hell I was doing, child. Ooh, child, I did not know what I was doing. I did not know. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. Like, clearly, I went into this thinking they were going to come out some type of way that they did not come out. I mean, they did come out cute. Don't get me wrong. But the process was not smooth like how I wanted it to be at all, at all, at all. Now... Let me tell y'all, white is the hardest color to work with. Like, I don't know what it is. And you know what's crazy? I've heard this before. And what did I do? I still chose to use white in this video today, knowing I can barely lay regular acrylic. So why in the world would I try to lay white acrylic? And then on top of me trying to lay white acrylic, I tried to do an overlay, no tips. So y'all, it was just, <laughs> I was really, I was really trying to do something today. Like, I don't know what, what ballsy mindset I had today, but I went for it. Okay. Like I definitely was feeling froggy and, and I leaped. So that is what I'm using. Um, this is what I'm doing. I am doing an overlay. My beads were going on way too dry and that is just me switching over from dynamic and some other powders that i use that are not as dry and they are slow setting this not polish i do not recommend i personally do not recommend not polish for beginners just because i know how to lay acrylic um pretty well not perfectly but i would tell people that i'm pretty decent at laying acrylic now now and I just got that way. However, this acrylic was drying really fast. Um, I was dapping my brush, the back of my brush, after I dipped it in the monomer and the powder. I was dapping the back of it on my paper towel. But even when I dap the back of my brush on a paper towel, say if I'm using um, Dynamic Nail Supply acrylic, it does not dry this fast. So... For me, this was drying way too fast for me. Okay, this is, um, I could compare this to the core, the core kit uh, of um, Young Nails. If y'all have that, or if y'all have tried those acrylics, that's what I can compare it to as far as the um, drying time. So it definitely does not give you too, too much time to work with, but also I was really moving slow, so. I would probably have to try this again on um, some longer nails just to see like if it was me or if it was the acrylic, but not polish acrylic is bomb. Don't get me wrong. Their, their acrylic is top tier, but for me and for me to be trying to do this new set that I've never done before and an overlay at that, like it was just, I shouldn't have used this acrylic. I should have used dynamic nail supply so that I could work a little slower with it but i don't know i'm just all over the place trying to explain this because when i'm thinking about it this is probably the acrylic that you really need to do an overlay because you want it to stiffen up a little bit just so that you can get that form towards the tip towards the free edge because you are supposed to be extending the nail just a little bit when you are doing the overlay you know so I don't know all in all i should have just stuck with using tips honestly like i shouldn't have done an overlay my nails are not long enough for that even though they don't have to be but since i don't didn't know exactly what i was doing or how to do it i should have kept this as um oh i should have done tips i should not have done an overlay is what i'm trying to say <laughs> I also should have been taking smaller beads than what I was. I was taking too big of beads, I feel like. Um, and initially I was just trying to lay like two beads. Some people do it in one with really short nails like this, which I feel like can be done, but I'm not that advanced to even try that. I should have been taking way smaller and thinner beads, like this pinky. I should have been taking beads like that, like thin like that, but I wasn't. I was making my beads too thick and too big. So that is a lesson learned. And hopefully y'all can learn a little bit of something like something from this of what to not do. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, 
I also want to touch on the giveaway winner for um, the last video. If y'all have not checked out my 500 giveaway um, video, then you should definitely go check that out because it is still going on. I am going to wait probably until I do um, this haul that I'm, a, I'm getting ready to do. Um, I have some things to actually set up for this haul because it's kind of a big one. So, um, it's, that's why it's taking me a while. I really want to do it this week. I'm not sure if I'll have enough time, but, um, I'm just waiting on a few more things to get here and then I can get ready to do the haul for you all. And in that haul, I will be announcing the giveaway winner for my 500 subscriber video. So again, if you have not checked that video out, go ahead and do so. I will link it above here and y'all can go back and watch that at the end of this video. But for sure, go check it out. Right here, I was just showing you all like a side view of how thick I did them and um just how they were shaped that one was super super thick like that that one the middle finger and the pointer finger i mean the ring finger were the worst <laughs> and i am using i'm going ahead and using this carbide bit um i will link it below for you all if you would like to purchase it it's, i got it off amazon it's a really good bit however i would not use this for the cuticle area i did try it out um for the cuticle area but i don't recommend it at all uh it didn't do what i'm used to and it didn't get in like the crevices like i needed it to so i just felt like it wasn't doing the job that my five in one bit does so um but it does it's really really good for actually smoothing out the nail like if you need to debulk just a little bit and um just get a smooth finish to your nail i highly suggest using this all over the nail like for the actual um nail bed so that's what i would recommend using it for and that's about all i would recommend using it for oh and i do want to say that i am using i don't know if i mentioned it or not already but i am using young nails monomer i know a lot of people like to know what monomer you're using and how it pairs with different acrylics so um young nails i never have an issue with uh with the monomer um some people say that mia secret is a little more on the runny side dealing with certain acrylics but i personally don't ever see a difference in the monomer but i've only ever used mia secret not polish and young nails acrylic and dynamic nail supply and honestly they've all worked okay for me so i've never really had an issue i know once i get a little more experienced I can probably um, tell the difference in them. I'll probably be able to tell more of a difference in them and how they pair with certain things. But as of right now, I don't have any real like crazy issues with any of those four monomers. So I do recommend those four monomers. If you're a beginner, um, Mia Secret is probably the more convenient one because it's on Amazon and it's pretty cheap. Um, and then after that, I would suggest Young Nails. So if you want to go cheaper than Young Nails, then try out Dynamic Nail Supply Monomer and you can start off with that. I was just showing y'all how they looked when I was done and the side profile of how they looked after I filed off all the bulkiness and the unevenness um, right here. I was actually just filing more so the tip of the nail um, because that's where it was kind of uneven at. And then after I am done filing them down to not perfection but what I deemed okay I went ahead and took the buffer and both of these I got from Walmart for 99 cent each and this buffer right here this nail file if y'all ever go in the um nail aisle or the makeup section where these are 
get this one because the way it buffed my nails was crazy like they came out super 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 smooth you guys i was not expecting that at all but okay so i went back in and y'all know i said that i didn't like that other bit for my cuticle area and it was like really bothering me like my cuticle was not flush to the nail so i went ahead and i got my five and one bit Y'all know I love my 5-in-1 bits. You can find those on Amazon as well. Just click, just search 5-in-1 bit. It will come up. That was the coarse one. And I just seal the cuticles. I am taking my Dynamic Nail Supply top coat. And y'all, let me say, let me put this out here right quick. I know y'all be thinking like, girl, how many times are you going to hype them up? But they like... Honest to God, they have some good products, y'all. Like, if y'all have not checked out Dynamic Nail Supply, you know, I really wish that I got paid to promote them because I would be making bank. Like, I would be making bank, like, for real, for real. Because, but they're just that good that I don't care. Like, I'll promote them for nothing. But their top coat is on the level with the Young Nails Finish. I think it's called the Finish Gel that um, Young Nails has. And i love like i love 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 this top coat it's so shiny how it cures and this is how it came out this is how it comes out the lamp it's no wipe you do not have to wipe it it's bomb so anyway i am taking my uh cuticle oil and shout out to leah for purchasing some of my cuticle oil after my last video. Now this is a multi-purpose oil. It was initially made for hair. And I initially made this because my, I, I used to wear a lot of wigs and a lot of um, frontals. So they were like taking my hair out, like making my hair super, super thin. So I had to actually use this oil and make this oil to grow my hair back. <laughs> and um, if you go on the site, which I linked, um, it's linked in my description box as well. If you go on the site, you will see like the whole process of how my hair grew back. Like I have pictures of it and everything. But anyway, I use it for a cuticle oil as well. It's multi-purpose and this is how my nails came out, you guys. So I hope you guys really enjoy this video. I am super sorry about the quality and the angles that I had, but doing my own nails is really hard for me to get in camera. And that is something that I struggle with, but I would promise y'all I will work on it. And hopefully the next time it is better. So I do apologize for that. But nonetheless, I hope you all learned some, something from this video. And if you didn't, you at least learned what not to do and how to better your application with short nails. Let me know if y'all have any ideas of what I should do next. I am gonna do a haul next. Hopefully I get it up by Sunday. But anyway, y'all let me know. Give me some comments down below and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love you. Mwah.